I flew back from New Zealand, where my wife and my daughter and my eldest son are, uh, just over three weeks ago. I stopped in Dubai to do a, a, a fan convention in Dubai, and then I came here directly, well, indirectly, really, by Dublin, and, uh, and I immediately self-quarantined myself because I could see that this, uh, this thing was going to get nastier and nastier. As of yesterday, we confirmed our first and second cases of uh, coronavirus here on the Isle of Man. It's going to be a huge disruption. I am going to be here uh, self-quarantining for at least four months. I would think that's being wildly optimistic. I will not be seeing my wife and my daughter and my elder son or my younger son who is in Germany, I think, in, until Christmas. And I'm not even sure that that will happen either. But it, there's another aspect to it as well. You know, we can all behave well when things are going well. The real qualities of a man or a woman are shown when things are going badly, when we're in adversity. And this adversity is nothing compared to the adversity that my parents went through and the generation that came before me, the period that went through the Second World War. Let me tell you about my mother. My mother was a miner's daughter. She was the firstborn. Uh, when she was eight, the third child was born, and there was not enough money to keep everybody fed in the house. So she was farmed off to a, an elderly uncle, Evan Evans, a respectable man, justice of the peace, as basically as a housemaid, and brought up there. Imagine the new baby comes along and you're immediately pushed out. Her memories are, she was born in 1912. Her memories are 1919, the miners' strike. 1921, the miners' strike. 1926, the general strike, when the miners stayed out for 18 months. Then the 30s. Then, just as the 30s were beginning to get back together, uh, uh, my father was then earning two and a half pounds a week. Um, then the war starts. Now, fortunately, my home was not bombed out, though there is a story that my father told me that my mother was very pregnant with me. And she said, good God, Reese, they're going to bomb the gas works, and promptly went into labor, which is why I was actually born in England, in Salisbury, in Salisbury General Infirmary on the 5th of May, 1944. But when you look at the stories of that war, my uncle Di, who was the eldest boy of my father's family, my uncle Di took the youngest one, Ben, uh, to Tilbury Docks, where he was joining the Merchant Navy. He drove up from Wales. He took the boy on his first on his first, took him to his first boat uh, and uh, said goodbye to his brother, who was just 18. And then he drove back down to Wales, to uh, just outside Ammonford. And he walked into the kitchen and he said, It's all right, Mum, I put, I put Ben on the boat. And his mother was holding the telegram which said that the boat had been lost at sea with all hands. That's a tough one. One of the reasons why my firstborn son is called Ben. If you look at the pictures of Dresden, if you look at the pictures of London after the bombing, after the air raids, after the firestorm in Dresden, if you look at those photographs of Hiroshima, you see the most total devastation. And yet, within a few years, they had rebuilt and put it back together. 
a complicated and wonderful story. And the Americans did wonderfully well. The Marshall Plan is, is one of the great keys to the rebuilding of Europe. But the point I'm trying to make is this. Our world looks as if it's going to be in a period of real chaos that we might indeed lose an awful lot of people in Europe because we are an older population, because we've had contraception for 50 years, 60 years, and our family sizes are a lot smaller. Our population is aged. Our economy may look pretty ruined. We may have lost some or all, uh, all of our older people, including me. But we will rebuild and make the world anew again. Never forget that. We humans have faced disaster many times. We humans can rebuild and remake and reimagine the world. You're going to be part of that. And with a bit of luck, I will be too.